Hi, this is Todd, and today is Wednesday, June 26, 2017. Uh, today we're going to talk about a uh, setup to get eggs out of the pale swallowtail, Papilla Eurymodon. Uh, right here below we have three females that I just fed some honey water uh, individually in mini pop-ups. This is the setup that we're going to put them in. <clears throat> Let me step back a little bit so we can see that. Um, what we're going to do is we have some cuttings of the host plant, Snowbush Ceanothus, Ceanothus volutinus. And as you'll notice, um, this host plant is in bloom right now. It grows about 7,000, 8,000 feet in our Wasatch Mountains, and the blooms double as a nectar source for the females, and we're going to set them up to lay eggs on the plant. One thing to note with Glaucus group females is that the females are more cooperative in laying eggs if they've been prepped for three or four days in a dark closet so they can um, become accustomed to being in captivity. If you set them up immediately, even if you feed them, the first thing they'll want to do is fly towards the sun uh, and try to escape. But if they're in captivity for three or four days and you feed them every day, then they become acclimated and their itch to lay eggs grows and they'll begin to lay eggs as well. Okay, it's about three hours later and I have got, gone ahead and closed the blinds. Uh, the females are still in the cage. We'll feed them here in a minute. And just scanning over the uh, snowbush ceanothus, there is an egg there. And it seems like this particular leaf is, what is quite popular. Just so I can get that it's a little bit out of focus. I'll take a better screenshot. And there's also some eggs on this leaf. Again, I'll get a better picture of that. So in other words, this uh, setup did work. Um, I had three females laying on the eggs. And just as a heads up, I tried a similar technique with potted snowbush ceanothus outside. That was less effective because it was 95 degrees outside and these pale swallowtails in Utah fly in our mountains where the daytime highs are probably in the uh, lower to mid 80s at 7,000 feet, 8,000 feet, and 9,000 feet. And so although I have set a western tiger swallowtail females to oviposit or lay eggs outside, uh, it didn't work as well because it's a little hotter than what they were used to. Thanks.